Hey there, welcome to The Hot Slice, the weekly podcast brought to you by Pizza Today Magazine. I'm your host, Jeremy White, joined by none other than our esteemed executive editor, Denise Greer. Hey, Denise, I'm loving these sweet backgrounds that Josh I know, aren't they really cool? I love it. I love it. And the fact that our last guest on the show was his pizza slice. (laughs) That's on. That's right. That's that's right. That's awesome. Uh, That's right. uh, Scotty's from Scotty's, uh, Scotty's Pizza Mm -hmm. Parlor there in uh, Portland, Oregon. Portland, Uh, Oregon. Yeah. So here we are. And and you can see. So I just want to say Josh isn't on this episode, but check out the new special 40th uh anniversary of pizza Love expo it. logo so pizza expo has a special um 40th anniversary logo uh so you're gonna see that all over the place but this week we wanted to do a special podcast because registration for pizza expo 2024 just launched this week yep uh so that is huge that means that you can get on and you can save a lot of money by registering now for Pizza Expo versus waiting till down the road to uh, to get your registration in. Uh, so Absolutely. Pizza Expo, March 19th through 21st. Of course, it's not just March 19th through the 21st. It's, you know, the 17th, 18th. Uh, yep. You know, we always have a lot, a lot going on. Um, so this is true. Let you know, we kind of wanted to talk a little. Let's so let's talk a little bit about the 40th anniversary. Like, we haven't given away anything that we're doing, uh, and I love it because there's a lot of secretive things that we want to just kind of do because it's it's the special 40th anniversary, mm-hmm. and so we're not going to let a lot of the cats out of the bag, uh, when it comes to uh, you know, how we're going to celebrate that 40th. Um, uh, but what does the 40th mean to you because you've you've been in this for so long. I mean, you've been to 20 half of the 40s. <laughs> I've been to to more than half of them. That's correct. So Pizza Expo launched in 1984 when I was the ripe age of nine years old. <laughs> My first Pizza Expo that I attended as an employee of Pizza Today was in the year 2000, March 2000. So I am now in my 20, I will be attending my 24th Pizza Expo. So um, 24 out of 40, I've seen so many changes to the show over the years. I've seen it grow. I mean, I've seen, I've seen great years. I've, I've seen scary years at 2003. I think I would have to verify, but I believe that's the year that, um, that our armed forces went into Iraq just weeks, a week or two before Pizza Expo. Um, and so we were really worried about how many Americans would be traveling on airplanes at that mm-hmm. time. I can remember going to a pizza and pasta Northeast show a mere month after the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Yeah. That was scary. Um, yeah. So I, I've seen, I've seen it all with pizza expo and obviously it has grown immensely over the last many years in, into mm-hmm. the, it has evolved into the show that, that we now know and love um but what it means to me is just you know, 40 is su- such a milestone it's so difficult to to stay in any kind of business mm-hmm. for for very long let alone four decades and to me it's it, it's kind of twofold denise uh one it's a um first and foremost it's a celebration of of, of this industry and the longevity of, of this industry um you know it, we help so many pizzeria owners across the country run their businesses more profitably, more efficiently. We help them thrive in, in their markets. And I know I'm, I can speak for you when I say this as well. We take a lot of pride in that. It's very you know humbling and it's very important to us. And, 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 and I know that you know Josh, Katie, Bill Oakley, Colleen, everyone who works on the show has a lot of pride in that and, and we love that. And then the second half of the coin for, for me, um, Really, it is, is you asked me that question, and and I kind of think about what it means to me. Is it, it just it just means that um, those the people I just named, um, yourself, Josh Cowan, uh, Katie Wilson, Bill Oakley, uh, myself, Colleen Truman, and the ex- really the extended Pizza Expo family. There are a lot of people that work on Pizza Expo besides the handful of people I just named, but. Um, we work really hard on this show and we take yeah. a lot of pride in pulling off what we consider to be the biggest event in the pizza industry and what we know to be 
the biggest, most important event in the pizza industry. But we 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 put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into it um, for for decades because you you have been with this. This is what your fifteenth yeah. pizza expo, roughly, or fourteenth uh, or fifteenth. No, it is my thirteenth, uh, I believe. Thirteenth. Okay, yeah. so I, I think yeah. that makes Josh his fifteenth. Then, so we yeah. we've all been a part of the show for so long, and Bill Oakley's been a part of it for. Like I said, this mm-hmm. is going to be my twenty fourth, and Bill has been a part of it longer than me. And um, I don't think people understand just how hard behind the scenes. And I'm not bragging or tooting our horns, but just how hard we work on this show. Um, and it yeah. is akin to what our attendees and our readers do in their pizzerias. Um, no one knows just how hard they work in their pizzerias either. And yeah, it's pretty similar. So. You know, th- that's what it means to me, but uh, yeah. very long winded answer, but but the truth. <laughs> so what does it mean to you, Denise? Oh, uh, you know, I think it, it really means getting better every year. Like I look at Pizza Expo and I look at the industry and how the industry has changed and how the show has changed with the industry. You know, um, seeing the industry get younger uh, at the show and then seeing that transfer, you know, to transpire with the actual pizzerias and the ownership and younger folks taking on ownership roles. Um, mm-hmm. And then just the sheer, like, the biggest thing to me is, is learning at the show, like either from the operators, from the speakers, from the exhibitors, but of of what's what's next it's always what's what's next and the Mm -hmm. nice thing about a 40th anniversary is you're seeing 40 years of here's what's been next here is what (laughs) has been next and here's what's next Uh, another thing that I love personally and I'm totally gonna like pull back the curtain on this is after we go back home from pizza expo you know we've all taken you know, long-winded notes on our phones, you know, as people have come up to us and told us suggestions or, or things that we we needed mm-hmm. to change or things that, you know, would help them if we could change this or update this or do something. And having those sessions after the shows of saying, okay, how can we ne- make next year better? Like mm-hmm. that, those are like, I love those sessions because we do that with content. We do that with uh, the seminars, and we also do that from an operational standpoint. Um, so that constantly looking forward of how to get better. That's the one thing like behind the scenes that I, I love that we do. Um, and I will say if anybody ever has any suggestions on how to make Pizza Expo better, reach out to us and we'll see if we can make it happen. Uh, we won't, we won't say we can, but we'll try. Yeah, I, I love that, Denise. We definitely share a burning desire to to continually improve um, our portfolio of products. And what I mean by portfolio of products, yeah. pizzatoday.com, Pizza Day Magazine, the content we produce at Pizza Expo, our social media mm-hmm. outlets. Um, we're, we're always tinkering. We're never quite satisfied. We always feel like, even if we feel like we're doing a really good job, we always feel like we could do better. <laughs> and that's absolutely that's, um, that's kind of who we are as people, I guess. You yeah. know, speaking of, of the show and, and improving, um, Actually, before we get before we get to that, while yeah. we're talking about the show, we've been asking for the last several podcasts, and I think we need to do it again. Yes, anyone yes, out there do. who has show memorabilia? If you have a a postcard, a flyer, something yeah. you brought home, photos, from Pizza Expo 1989, yeah. or photos from Pizza Expo 2011, whatever, right? Yeah, all whatever. the way back to 1984. We, we like see it. your photographs, your memorabilia, yeah. t-shirts, anything yeah. you have. Do you have the mug business. from that one year that everybody was doing tall stacks of beer mugs to get to mm-hmm. the ceiling? Do you remember that? They were like, oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> trying yeah. to do a competition. Um, yeah. And, you know, something that people don't know before we hop into talking about some specific things with uh, the 40th anniversary is um, we just got a very big international award for our mm-hmm. show uh, for having the stickiest show floor. And that sounds like a weird term, but it, it just means that we have one, we have the most exciting show floor in the world is what that says. It means that people want to stay on our show floor because we're doing things like having competitions on the show floors and demonstrations and having interactive like gamification with our um, Mm -hmm. with our game pieces and just different ways that 
that people are being enticed and love being on our show floor. And especially like last year, the thing I think about last year is um, we had all of these Instagrammable moments throughout the show mm -hmm. floor uh, that were huge. Like they were just these big, uh, you know, spaces where a lot of people were taking photos. So that's one thing that I'll, I'll, I'll plug real quick is we do have the, the probably the best show floor in in the world now and and a and a big award proved it so I we like have that. the award to prove it you know we we can say that but now now we've got the award to prove it and that's yes. really cool yeah exactly so let's let's talk a little bit about the 40th like of what we can talk about because there's a lot that we're still doing behind the scenes uh there's mm -hmm. a lot that that we're not disclosing i will say that we are going to bring on master pizza folks we're going to bring on probably jeremy and michael with master michael. pizza to talk about um about the international pizza challenge and answer questions about how things are changing this year uh and what's transpiring and how the competitions are going to go uh just to just to let people know about how our competitions are going to be run this year yeah and if you um listeners out there intend to compete in the International Pizza Challenge in, in any of the categories, you won't want to miss a, this podcast. Yeah. We, all year long, but especially as we get closer to the show, we continually get asked questions about the rules, the formats um, mm -hmm. of, of each of the competitions. And having uh, Jeremy Galvin, Michael LaMarca on to kind of walk through that a little bit will answer yeah. a lot of those questions. Absolutely. And, you know, the one thing that I'll say about the uh, the IPC, the competitions and the World Pizza Games is if you know you want to compete, like you register right now, like Sign you up this pod podcast, we'll put the link in the notes um, so you can go and sign up. But the earlier you sign up, the better, because uh, you may not be able to qualify for one of your um, competition areas. The categories may be full. Uh, so you do That's not right. want to get waitlisted because being waitlisted yeah. really is no fun. No, spots are limited. They do fill up very quickly. And every year I get countless emails from people. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just saw that Division XYZ was full. Any way you can squeeze me in. No, you know, I can't, we can't. There are only so many spots. Each slot, once it's occupied, once it's gone, yeah. it's gone. We, we we're on a schedule, we're on a time frame. Uh we have judges um yeah. set. We 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 can't add in, in any extra competitors. So if, if you don't act early, You're don't don't send out. us can can you help me out? Excuse <laughs> me an email because no, we can't. <laughs> no, uh, uh there are just those limited uh, number of spots, and once they're gone, they're gone. And yeah. I can tell you that getting on that waste wait list is not any fun because uh very rarely do they dip into that wait list. Uh people once mm -hmm. they commit, they 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 don't miss their spots. So yeah. Um so that, that's story. what I'll say about um if you want to compete. Uh, get in there and register for the competitions. When you when you register for Pizza Expo, you'll get, be given the opportunity to register for the competitions mm -hmm. and go ahead and do it. You know, if you're a little nervous and think, well, I'll go back in and do it. No, do it now. Do it now. Even, yeah. uh, even if you are a small mom and pop and you think, well, I'm not going to even do anything. We've had the last few years, we've had so many um, first time winners uh, come out and it was their first challenge and they want a category or, yep. or they want. So like, don't be afraid, just do it. Yep. Amen to that. Um, let's switch gears and let's talk about, so the show floor, the international pizza expo show floor mm -hmm. will be open March 19th through 21st. Yes. Uh, 2024 at the Las Vegas convention center in the beautiful West hall. But as we, as you alluded earlier, Denise, even though the show floor opens on the 19th, we we really begin the show on the 17th. Um, St. Patrick's Day this year, Sunday, March 17th, will be um, a day full of pre-show workshops. Um, these are fee-based workshops. They're, they're very detailed, very in-depth. Um, most of them last about four hours. They're typically 8 a.m. to noon. You have an, an expert speaker who tried and true, battle-tested tons of great information, and they really deep dive and go really, really deep to give you a fully comprehensive education in whatever 
whatever topic they are discussing. Mm -hmm. uh, most of these workshops do carry a fee, 200 to $250. The attendees every year that, that go to those, um, we do get exit uh, reviews from them after the show. The reviews are typically very, very glowing. Um, and, and time and time again, we we hear that, yes, this was worth the fee. It was worth the money. I learned so much that I will be able to implement right away when I return home to my business after Pizza Expo. So if that's something that, that, that appeals to you, again, when you register for Pizza Expo, you need to go ahead and register for those as well. Performance Food Service is proud to deliver high quality products, innovative technology, and custom operational solutions to restaurants of all sizes across the country. The flagship division of Performance Food Group with deep roots in the restaurant industry, Performance Food Service has been the exclusive distributor of the Roma family of brands for more than 65 years. This signature relationship has allowed Performance Food Service to become a leader in the pizza and Italian segment of food service nationwide. With extraordinary pizza cheese comes extraordinary rewards. Only Baccio Exceptional Italian Pizza Cheese offers the Gold Club Rewards Program with monthly cash back on every cheese purchase. Members also receive funds twice a year to use in their exclusive marketing store. It's their way of saying grazie to customers. Schedule a demonstration at BaccioCheese.com slash hot slice and discover how rewarding Baccio Exceptional Italian Pizza Cheese can be. Pizza is your legacy. Build it with Baccio. Looking to grow your pizzeria or restaurant? Then you'll want to try the power of a cloud-based POS system. With Hunger Rush, you'll get everything you need. This fully integrated restaurant management system allows you to easily streamline operations, accelerate the delivery process, and grow your business through Hunger Rush 360 marketing. And it's so easy to use. Want AI-powered text ordering? It's built in. Need to track orders? No problem. Schedule a personalized demo at HungerRush.com today. Now, can you give us a sneak peek? Do you know uh, who's uh, who's going to be yeah, coming let's in do on that. Sunday? I, I want to know. Uh, I don't even think I know all of them that are coming in, but I will right. say, like, before we get into who it is, um, you know, because I sit in on these uh, on these sessions on Sunday and they're amazing. So the one big thing that I love about these sessions is the take home materials is yeah. there are so many take home materials that you can go and and you can actually use those materials to better your business right off the bat. So they're giving you actual homework basically to, to mm -hmm. and and you you choose whether you want to do it or not because uh, you know it's a, it's a one time session. So yep. um but no, the, you're the right. take home the take home materials are they're they're worth way more than than mm -hmm. the 250 bucks. No doubt. Yeah, I, I'll give you a quick rundown, Denise. So, um, you know, this might be kind of fun as we lead up to Pete's Expo to kind of take it day by day throughout yeah. throughout the course of a series of podcasts. But uh, hey, day one, Sunday, March 17th, we we have five pre-show workshops lined up for, for attendees. Um, the first one will be led by David Scott Peters, and it is titled Master Profitability. Conquer budgeting fears and empower financial success. That's that's pretty cool. So we're going to talk about how you can make your pizzeria as profitable as possible. It's going to walk you through the budget budgeting process. He's going to give you some information that you need to know before you increase your menu prices, because we all know you probably need to increase your menu prices right now. And he's going to provide you some tools and information. To, to aid your financial success. Um, David does a really outstanding job. His workshops are at capacity every yeah. single year. And this is a new topic. Uh, he typically, the last several years, has um, done a workshop that we titled Restaurant Business Essentials. Great workshop. By no means has it run its course, but mm -hmm. we were, for the 40th, we were, just, we were shaking it up. We were doing something new. And this is a brand new, brand new workshop. And like I said, his his workshops, they're always, they're always packed. They're standing room only. So um, yeah, he's just full of knowledge. I mean, he, and he's a great instructor. Like there's one thing about being a good speaker and there's another thing about being a good instructor and he knows yeah. how to teach. And that's the important thing. Yeah. Amen to that. Uh, the next one is uh, going to be led by Tony Troiano, who uh, owns and operates JB Alberto's Pizza in Chicago, Illinois. Um, and he is going to to have a co-host, which is going to be Scott Anthony, owner-operator nice. of Punxsutawney Pizza in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. 
the title of this workshop is Maximizing Your Carryout and Delivery Revenue and Operations. Yeah. Um, Tony, it, look, I've been to JB Alberto's. It's it, it, it's crazy. It. It, it's crazy. I've never seen, and I was not there on a Friday night, FYI. I was there on like a Tuesday or a Wednesday afternoon, and I've never seen so many delivery drivers coming in and out. I've uh -huh. never seen so many employees on the make line, uh, you know, boxing, get, getting food out the door, taking orders, making pies. This it, it's a well-oiled machine. It is one of the highest volume pizzerias in the entire country. Mm -hmm. It's all carry out and delivery. There's no one else that you want to sit down and listen to to talk about maximizing carry out and delivery. So this is going oh, to be absolutely. for those of you looking to make a mark with with Delco units or even if you yeah. have four sit down dine in pizzerias, but you're trying to up your carry out and delivery game. Yeah, this is what you you won't want to miss. His, his, his knowledge of and execution of operations and especially kitchen efficiency operations for delivery. I mean, it is amazing. Like just, just seeing how he can crush that, that much sales volume through that unit. It's, it's insane. It, it is insane. Uh, the next one is going to be led by Mike Bausch, Andalini's Pizzeria in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And Mike is going to cover crafting your brand and marketing strategy. Nice. If anyone watched Mike's keynote address um, about three years back in Las Vegas, then yeah. you know that no one is more creative, no one is more energetic than Mike Bausch. So he he's going to raise the bar, I'm, I'm sure, in this workshop. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh, next up is so you want to open a pizzeria, now what? That's by Nick Bogatz. This is a repeat workshop, all right? Uh, Nick owns and operates Caliente Pizza and Draft House in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He did do this workshop previously. It was so popular. The reviews were so outstanding and so many people who didn't get in the first time have asked for the opportunity to sit in another time around. So. We're bringing this one back and um, it, it, it'll be a packed house. We have, as you know, Denise, on Sunday and Monday, we have a lot of our, a lot of attendees that come to Pizza Expo on Sunday and Monday aren't even in the pizza business yet. They are mm -hmm. looking new. to get into yeah. the pizza business. They're looking to start a yeah. pizzeria or they just newly opened. And yeah. so this is going to be a huge benefit to that subset of our audience. Absolutely. Sunday and Monday is all about uh, the new operator, the uh, the inexperienced operator. You know, it's really there um, to help people, you know, just shine and get things off to the on the right track. You know, yeah. it's one thing to start your shop, but it's also it's another thing to get everything lined up and and done the most efficient way possible uh, yeah. right from the get go. Yeah. Very true. And so let's talk about our last one. Our, our fifth and final is uh, maximizing revenue via online ordering. That oh, wow. workshop is going to be led by Melissa Rickman of Holy Stromboli in, uh, in Colorado. Melissa actually just gave a keynote address at the Pizza and Pasta Northeast show in Atlantic City last month. She did a bang up job on that. Again, very, very uh, knowledgeable speaker really in the trenches with online ordering her her online ordering is, is through the roof um yeah. she did a complete revamp i think during covid actually and her sales her her sales via online ordering have 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 soared um she is a really really astute uh let's call it leader in this in this particular field here in this on this topic so um I have no doubt anyone who's looking to grow grow their online ordering or mm -hmm. for those of you who are lagging a bit behind and don't yet offer online ordering, yeah. you really, really need to sit in on this one and listen to what she has to say. Ask her questions about how you can get into this game. Um, because let's, let's be honest, if you're not in into online ordering right now, you're, you're really far behind. 
for sure. I mean, we just did our, I mean, not to give anything away because December is when our uh, industry yeah. report uh, launches, but I'm going to tell you that online ordering is the number one thing impacting businesses today, right now, the number one. Um, so if you're not doing it effectively or if you're not doing it at all, wow. I mean, the potential is there for you to make so much more um, out there. Yeah. Like the revenue is just there for the taking once once you learn how to use it right. Yeah. And, and Denise, uh, speaking of that industry report, you and I were pouring over the data recently, um, reading through the comments, and it just kept coming up over and over again, online, 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 mm -hmm. online, online. And then yeah. we filtered some of it through um, through AI. Yeah, that was fun. To, <laughs> That was fun. And sure enough, what came back is number one, online ordering. Online so ordering. Yeah. It's time, you know, and one thing did surprise me. There are a substantial percentage of independent independent pizzerias. Yeah. Um, don't quote me on this. I don't have the report right in front of me. I don't want to say it wrong. Denise, I see you looking it up. Thank you. But I believe it was <laughs> around 26 or 27% of independent pizzeria respondents to the survey said that they do not offer online ordering. I believe it was somewhere in that vicinity. Um, well, it was you know, way too much. Yeah. Yeah. So we, um, so just to give you a little insight on into this, this reporting is we were able to, uh, to look at data based on just independence. We were able to look at data based on just caterers and mobile units or um, chain and franchises. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so the indie market, um, yeah, they, uh, Okay, I am in. I'm in the file right now, uh, but the indie market is definitely um, our strong. It's our stronghold, and it looks like, um, yeah, twenty three percent. Twenty three. Okay. Of independents and independents were the overarching majority of the people who compl completed our survey. Um, they do not have online ordering, so. 23 percent now they they could have they may think of that and think about their own online ordering system versus having um you know using third party for online ordering mm -hmm. which is a little bit different yeah. um but uh but online ordering yeah it's 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 vital it, it is and we're talking roughly one in four saying that you know, I'm not in on that action right now. I haven't yeah. gone all in on that. I haven't bought in on that. Yeah. Meanwhile, you have some of the really sophisticated large pizza chains out there um, allowing consumers to order directly off their smart TV as they're watching television. I, and... I can tell Siri right now to go order me food, go order me a pizza. I mean, yeah. don't Siri. So but... <laughs> we have... We still have a, a substantial number of people out there who who need to need to focus on this technology. Absolutely. All right. We'll get we'll get off our uh, pedestal about <laughs> online ordering now. But, you know, so if you're one of those that need help with online ordering, we do have several articles on Pizza Today that talk a lot about um, how to optimize online ordering. In fact, one of them was written by Melissa Rickman. So she talks right. about how she was able to do it in her unit um, and how she was able to uh, increase, uh, increase, uh, her sales through using the online ordering system. Mm -hmm. So exciting. All right. So, uh, how should we end this talking about, uh, talking about pizza expo? So 40th, 40th, we definitely had to get on here and talk about the registration, talked about it, that it, it is now open. You can now register yeah. for pizza expo, um, and, and get all of that together so that you can go to Vegas. Vegas is of course going to be swamped with, um, Let's see here. St. Patrick's Day, uh, NCAA, NCAA basketball tournament, uh, spring break. Uh, so you want to get in on getting getting your trip put together earlier yeah. rather than later. Get those good airline airline, you know, uh, you know, one hop or no hops <laughs> into Vegas. <laughs> Denise, here, here, here's how we'll end this. What are you most looking forward to at Pete's Expo? What one event? has you the most excited one event i don't think it's an event like for for me it is one-on-one -on -one conversations it's that one-on-one -on -one connection with yeah. pizzeria operators that is the thing i look forward to most i look forward to those hugs i look forward to listening to 
how business is going. So if you're out there and you're like, ah, oh, you know, I would like to, you know, make sure I talk to Pizza Today, make sure you stop by Pizza Today booth so that we can have a conversation. We're going to bring the podcast back to Pizza Expo. There's no doubt about it. Uh, I don't know what form we'll have it in yet, uh, but we'll definitely have um, the podcast there. And that's my biggest thing is I love connecting with operators. I, you know, I come home from Pizza Expo with 150 story ideas mm -hmm. um, and connections to interview for the magazine and um, so that is always the thing I look forward to most. There are a lot of elements to Pizza Expo, but that is, that's my bread and butter. That's what I love the most. Well said. You stole my thunder. That's, that's where I'm at <laughs> as well. You know, we, we start, we, we kick the show off with a staff dinner at an undisclosed location in Las Vegas. <laughs> and um, that's always fun. The world pizza games, the energy, they're always fun. Um, you know, giving away the money at the end and watching the excitement of the winner. Always fun. It, it, there's so many highlights of the show. There are too many to name, but you hit the nail on the head for me as well. It's just interacting with my friends, my pizza family, really the, the people that we've come to know so well over the years. And, you know, they're giving us hugs and they're, we're asking about their families. We're asking about their business. They're asking about, about our, how things are going with us and and we just sit there and we talk and, and, and we catch up and that's really what what makes the show special for me as well yeah yeah so connections is big and if you're going to be new to pizza expo don't be afraid to jump in and just talk to somebody tap tap them on the shoulder hey this is my first year do you have any advice? And you know what? They're going to talk your ear off for at least a half hour when you say that to somebody. I guarantee yeah. it. <laughs> so very true. So I, uh, you know, we, we obviously on the podcast we we interview guests uh, quite routinely, but we, let, let's just let's just say that between now and the show, we're going to hop back on here a few more times, and mm -hmm. just like we talked about the Sunday workshops, we'll we'll talk about what's planned for for Monday, what's planned for Tuesday, and we'll just kind of uh, cover the show a little bit in advance yeah, because there's absolutely. so much going on. Absolutely, especially with those um, the the fee based things, so that yeah. people can make sure that they're booking that ahead of time. Because yeah. right now you should be, you know, when you're in the registration system, you can go ahead and book that stuff uh, right in advance. So it makes it easy uh, to get it all ahead of time. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking forward to getting back on here and uh, you know highlighting more of this big show. Big indeed, Denise. It is always a, an extreme pleasure for me to sit down and catch up with you one-to-one uh, -one like this without uh, interviewing an operator and just just kind of shooting the breeze about the show and, and what we were what we are up to so thank you for taking the time and to to come on and sit down and, and, and do this all right well sweet well we'll be back uh next week with uh guests well i won't be back next week i'm going on vacation because i need is on vacation <laughs> so uh, so yeah and i think you all needed a vacation too if you haven't had one i hope you're able to get one soon um so we'll uh i'll catch up with you soon but these guys will be back on next week with a guest sounds great see you denise see ya bye